Hey everyone, in this video I am going to take you through this simple process of getting a blog set up at HostGator and you'll be up and blogging in just a few minutes. And one of the reasons I like HostGator so much is that they have really great customer support. And so you can chat with them right here, or you can call them. And uh, like I talk about in another video where I re review all the different hosts that I've used, uh, HostGator's customer service is hands down the best and um, I just really like them a lot. So anyway, without any more chat about that, we'll get going. So what you wanna do first here is this is a homepage, and so once you're on the homepage, you can just go ahead and click View Web Hosting Plans. And then here, you have a couple different options that you can go with. Um, the Hatchling plan is the cheapest, but I would probably recommend the Baby plan for most people, and the difference is that the Hatchling plan, you only get a single domain that you can put on this hosting account, whereas a baby plan you can do unlimited. And if I can tell you one thing from all the bloggers I've seen, it's very rare when I see a blogger who only has one domain and doesn't have a test site or doesn't have another site that they kind of want to play with. So, so it's really not that much more um, when you're, I mean, unless you're going out three years, unless you're doing a three-year package, that's where they're like big deal is but if you're only locking in for six months I mean we're only talking like what 80 cents difference or something so so that's the other thing um, you're gonna save some money by locking in for a longer rate and you know and if you're not sure completely sure that you're really into this this whole blogging thing then it might be better to go with the monthly or six month rate um, so anyway so go with baby plan and then once you order that, now you're going to go ahead and enter in whatever domain name that you want to use. And if you have a domain that you already bought from somewhere else, you can enter it in here. But we're going to go through this process of you get in your domain name right now. So we're just going to go ahead and call this test blog 135 because I'm guessing that's not available. And then right here, um, what you want to do is enter in Christian PF. And this will give you 25% off whatever package you decide to choose. And so this is where you need to decide how long you want to do this because it's only going to give you 25% off whatever the length of package you choose. So if you do one month, you're only going to get 25% off for one month. But if you lock in for a year, you'll get that 25% off for an entire year or up to three years. So, you know, that's where you just need to kind of decide what you want to do. Um, and so then right here, you can go ahead and enter in your username. Okay, so for the rest of this stuff, just go ahead and enter in all your information. And then what you can do is just got, get down to the bottom and then you can just go ahead and create your account. Okay, so now I chose to pay via PayPal, so it's gonna take me here to the pay now button. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so you should be getting an email from them. It might take a few minutes, and if you don't get it after a few minutes, I would just use a live chat box and just ask them about it. But let's flip over to our email, and here it is. And then what this is is our login information for that. So what we're going to do is go ahead, and we're going to click on this one right here. It's going to take us to our control panel. And then we're going to, we're going to need our username. Just go ahead and drop that in. And then we're going to need our password. Go ahead and paste that in. And then we're going to log in. And now we are in our control panel area. This is where we're going to get the blog all set up for you. So we're going to come down here, scroll all the way down under the software and services area and click on Fantastico Deluxe. And this is where we're going to install WordPress. So on the left side, you can just click the WordPress button. And we are going to do a new installation. Okay, and then install on domain, whatever no domain we put in. Um, and then we're just going to put in an admin name here. And we're going to put in a password. And we're just going to do test P 
pass. Okay, and then the email, um, it by default, it's going to give you whatever your original username was um, at your new domain name.com. And um, I can show you how to set that up in a separate video. But if you have another email address that you'd like to use, um, because this email address will not be set up by default, you'll have to set it up. And it's pretty easy, but if you want to use a different email, you can just drop that in right there. Okay, and there's a site, and we're just going to install WordPress. And then just watch this, and we're going to finish installation. And then now we are good to go. And then right here, we're going to get our username and a password. And it's also going to have a link for the admin area of our blog. And so if we're just going to go ahead and click this, open that in a new tab. And we got our name and password. It's and now what you see here is the back end uh, admin side of your new WordPress blog. So flip back over here. We're going to get our username and our password. We can just go ahead and enter that in. And then we can log in. And so now you are now logged in to your uh, your new blog and so right here you can just click this and we'll go ahead and open that in a new tab and you can see your new blog and so this is your blog and you can just go let me pull this over so you can see it just go over to posts and we can just do add new post you can hide this little guy So, and then we're going to go ahead and click publish. And now we are officially a blogger. So now you can see your first post over here. And there it is. So if you have any issues uh, going through any of this process, contact HostGator via their phone number or via the chat box. Um, I've done this quite a few times. Sometimes it goes really, really quick. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit for your account to be activated. Um, so either way, if you have any issues and it, it doesn't go really, really fast for you, just uh, contact them and they should be able to help you out and speed things up a little bit. Okay, so that is about it. So I'll see you guys later.